All right, so I received a question uh, from one of you uh, asking how you would actually solve a problem like this. Uh, this is called a binomial uh, because it's separated by a subtraction sign or addition sign. Um, each term is separated by an addition or subtraction sign. So I have um, negative 2x, that's one term, and I have a minus sign, so I have another term right here. So this is two terms, so a binomial times a binomial. All right, here's how you do it. You multiply the first term with the first term of each binomial. All right, to do this, you really have to understand uh, the uh, rules about multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting with positive and negative numbers. Um, really, it's a very simple thing if you can just think of these uh, basic rules. All right, so I'm multiplying... Uh, let's see, x times x first. x times x uh, gives me x squared, just like 3 times 3 would give me 3 squared. And anything squared is to the second power. So I know that this term is going to be uh, x squared. So I, I know the next one in descending order, um, descending powers would be x to the first. And anything to the first power is just that number, because you just write it once. Um, as multiplication, and then um, x to the 0 power, and anything to the 0 power um, is 1. So I'm just going to write the number there, because 1 times whatever number I put here will give me the answer. All right, so I, I've already taken care of my um, variables. Now I'm just going to multiply. Negative 2 times 5. Well, multiply is normal. So it's 5 times 2 is 10, but then you're taking the opposite of it negative 10. All right, there's no negative sign here, so you're not taking the opposite of that. So the answer is negative 10. So negative 10x squared is your first term. All right, let's look at the next one. Next one, we will um, use multiplication, and we'll call this a rainbow because it does look like it. All right, negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is, um, 2 times 2 is 4, Opposite of the opposite is positive, so it's 4, positive 4, all right, let's put that there, and then I'm going to add that to negative 6 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30, and the opposite of that is negative 30. So negative 30 plus 40. What does that mean? Well, it means that if I'm on the number line, and this is how we add and subtract positive and negative numbers, I'm going to start at uh, negative 30, so I'm here, here's 0. If I were to go to the right for 30, sorry, here's 0. If I were to go to the right 30 after negative 30, I'd be at 0. But I'm not. I'm going 4 to the right. So I know the answer is going to be negative. All right? So I'll put a negative there. And then just what's the difference between um, 30 uh, and 4? Well, let's see, negative 29, negative 28, negative 27, negative 26. So the answer is negative 26. And that's how you add and subtract positive and negative numbers. They're just directions on the number line. So start at negative 30, go to the right 4. All right? So I know the answer would be negative. All right, and the last one, multiply the last terms. I have negative 2, sorry, negative 6 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 6 is 6 times 12. 6 times 2 is 12. And the opposite of the opposite is positive. So positive 12. That should be my answer. Now, how do I check to see if it's right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the coefficients of each um, term and I'm going to uh, see if I get the same answer down here as well. All right, so negative 2 minus 6. Negative 2 minus 6. That means start at negative 2 and go to the left for 6. So if I do that, um, I'm going to go to negative 8. So this is negative 8. This whole thing is negative 8. Next, 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2, start at 5 and go to the left, 2. That's 3. Now what am I going to do to negative 8 and 3? Well, I'm going to multiply. Negative 8 times 3. Let's see, 8 times 3 is 24, and the opposite of that is negative 24. So if all of this 
comes out to negative 24, I know I have the right answer. So I have negative 10, right here, is the coefficient, minus 26, so I'm starting at negative 10, if you imagine the number line, and minus 26 means go to the left, 26, so I know the answer is going to be negative, uh, and then go 26, um, continue going 26 in the direction left, so I'll get to negative 36, okay? And then negative 36 plus 12. Well, think about the number line. Negative 36 is here. I'm not going to the left. I'm going to the right for 12. If I were going to the right for 36, I'd end up at 0. But I'm not. I'm going for 12. So I know the answer is going to end up on the negative side. So I'll end up, end up with a negative. And then if I take 12 away from 36, what do I get? 24. Negative 24. These both check out, so this is correct. Negative 10x squared minus 26x plus 12. Uh, these are your coefficients, and this is your constant. Okay? Hope you enjoyed and can understand how to multiply binomials.